Hey YouTubers, I'm the Savage Jedi and here to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the uh, top five mine or top five ways to improve your Minecraft house. And as you see here, this is just a basic crappy house. It's all the same uh, thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, block. You know, there's no wooden planks with the cobblestone. There's no regular wood with the cobblestone. There's no stone. It doesn't look good and you can't jump and you like you can't have a party the sand the flooring is awful and it's really cramped so I'm gonna tell you how to improve your house so it's gone to step number one okay guys step one is to uh, build your house on the water cuz if it's on the water creepers and I actually did this creepers will uh... they can't like they can't come and get you they'll be stuck here and sometimes they'll get stuck below your house and they'll drown and that's pretty awesome because then you get free gunpowder or, or bones or arrows or feathers from different types of enemies and stuff like that. So build it on the water. It's you know, it makes your house a lot safer, and I think it's just cooler. So yep. On the next step. Okay, guys. Uh, step two is to use different blocks. Like you see, um, what I've done is I've used actually regular wood. And regular wood looks awesome, okay? Don't just make it into one of planks. Use wood. I mean, it looks really great. And you should put, like, if you're going to make your whole wall cobblestone, put something different on the corners, like maybe wooden planks or wood or mossy cobblestone. That looks really good, too. So I would recommend using different blocks. Your house looks a ton better because then it's not just the same old blob of wooden planks. And yeah, so on to step three. Okay, guys, um, for step three or four, I can't remember. I think it was three. Yeah, three. Um, use wool as your floor. Okay, um, it looks a lot better, and you know, so you don't have cobblestone. Like it's basically the same with the walls. You want to do something special, and not many people really use wool as their floors. And I think it looks pretty awesome. And there's many different colors. I know there's pink, which is pretty cool. Blue. You can the Another way is you could use like iron blocks, but you need a ton of iron blocks. So I would just recommend using this, like wool. And then like maybe you can have some parts as like uh, wooden planks, stone, moss, cobblestone, and so it's like a, it's like a little pattern, and it's pretty cool. So yep. Now on to guideline number four. Okay, guys, step number four: add windows. This is pretty common, and if you don't do it, then it doesn't look too good because windows brings in more light and it's makes your house looks nicer I guess you know more light the brighter mood you'll be in and so yeah that's basically it but it is good to just to have some windows put them like everywhere and make sure they're even cuz like uh, if I was to put a window right here it wouldn't it doesn't look even and it's just it, not the greatest but I would say look make it even cuz like there's two here two here three in the middle and same over here and this is one on this end and one on this end and yeah so it's even and it looks better I should say so yep on to the last step okay guys for the last step um have different rooms like see in here I have my bedroom and then I got my living room and there will be more rooms like uh, you could add in a pool room a wheat farm a bamboo farm Another room and stuff like that. So it's good to have different rooms so you don't have like stuff lying all over the place. Say, like, you have a bed here, you got like some dirt with weed on it and it's growing, and then you got like a little area with water in it and it's supposed to be a pool. It doesn't look good. You want different rooms and maybe some signs. I didn't put a sign down. Some signs might help, like uh, if it's like an insanely uh, big room and you can't really see inside it. Uh, you should put like sign there saying the pool or the armory or the guest room, stuff like that. So yep, these are my top five tips uh, to have a better Minecraft house. Uh, this is part one of three. I two more parts will be coming out soon, and hopefully you guys like them. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you do all that, you'll have my channel grow. My channel grows. More videos. More videos means more content. More content means more Savage Jedi for you guys. So, hope you guys like my video. I'm the Savage Jedi. I'm out. Peace.